If John F. Kennedy was one of your heroes when you were growing up, imagine the thrill of being chosen to be a member of the honor guard standing vigil over his tomb. That's what happened to Herb Smith, who went on to become a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, something you'll hear about today. Herb is a native of Conyers, Georgia, near Atlanta, where he currently lives with his wife of 52 years, Pam. He's a graduate of Georgia State University with a degree in marketing. In 1967, Herb was drafted into the Army. He appeared headed to Officer Candidate School while at Fort Lewis in Washington State. But when that was canceled, he was assigned to Fort Myer, Virginia, where he became a member of the prestigious Army Drill Team's Honor Guard Company. After the initial training, Herb spent three months as a sentinel at JFK's gravesite. Then, in 1968, he was assigned as a sentinel and later a relief commander at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, where he spent 13 months. When his stint was up, Herb opted out of the military and joined the sales department at Michelin. In his 39 years with Michelin, he moved nine times. Herb has never forgotten his roots in the Honor Guard. He is a recipient of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Identification Badge Number 70, the second rarest of military medals. Herb has other talents as well. His design was selected for the logo for the Unknown Soldier Centennial Celebration in 2021. Herb is a life member of the Society of the Honor Guard Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In that capacity, he serves as the unofficial group historian, answering questions by email from curious citizens. You're in for a real treat today, because Herb is going to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about the tomb and its location, Arlington National Cemetery. Please welcome Herb Smith. <laughs>